I find it uh, uh, more than a little bit frustrating. It's been a confusing week for BC's Premier, who claims Ottawa went over his head. We're going to get answers for British Columbians from Health Canada. The saga started last week when BC cannabis producer Adastro Labs issued a questionable press release. It appeared to suggest the company had Health Canada approval to legally possess, produce, sell and distribute cocaine on the open market. A move that left BC's Premier stunned. The short answer is uh, that I was astonished uh, by this announcement. Today, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau offered some much-needed clarity, noting the company will only be able to produce and sell for research purposes. It is not a permission uh, to sell it commercially or uh, provide it uh, on an open market. Uh, we are working very, uh, very quickly uh, with this company uh, to correct uh, their, uh, the misunderstanding that their uh, press release has, uh, has caused. The company then issued a retraction confirming Trudeau's remarks. The whole ordeal leaving the B.C. Premier perplexed once again. I think that Health Canada needs to have a serious look at what they're doing. Uh, I think they have to have a serious look at this company and the license they've issued to a company that would issue an irresponsible press release like this. Despite all the confusion, Adastro Labs has seen its share prices surge, rising from 70 cents to $1.33 this week alone. Securities experts say the company's original vague announcement was likely an attempt to drive investment. It is common practice for smaller, small cap companies uh, to use scintillating language to get investors um, interested in trading their stock. While controversial, substance use researchers say at Astro Labs cocaine license is notable for being one of the first of its kind and it could be part of a growing movement toward a safer supply of the drug. As we uh, explore different alternatives to get people access to a to a regulated and predictable drug supply, um, there's going to be a need for sourcing out those substances. But there's no guarantees this company will be the one to usher in the change. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.